the colleagues and royal bird watchers. I am very honored to be invited here today to tell you the incredible story of my last expedition. Um, may I have the first slide, please? And here we are, two weeks out on the safari. Already deep into the interior, and already treading ground that no white man had ever trod before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Umbala. Elephant droppings, boss. Oh, blimey. We'll have to make another detour. What is it? Why have we stopped? See all that? Elephant. Oh, well, I didn't think it was ours. What is it, Professor? Shh, please. Not in front of the lady. I was going to ask her to keep quiet. Shh. Oh, pardon me. Shh. Dear, dear, dear. Well, isn't it safe to go on? It's risky with elephants about. Be all right if they got a few cows with them. On the other hand, it could be all bulls. Well, coming from you, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, well, we've trekked far enough for today anyway. Up, Sir Daisy. Boss. Scout around, find campsite. Look a dicky. Dick and nookie, boss. What's all this dookie, nicky, nicky, nucky stuff? That's banger, banger talk. Well, I hope he hurries, otherwise I'm going to be icky dicky. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. <laughs> Jewel, my lavender water, please. Oh, yes, my lady. I'm afraid you've dropped one, Lady Bagley. I beg your pardon. Oh, oh, oh yes, of course. <laughs> it's a great pleasure to be of service, ma'am. After all, we have travelled together a thousand miles now. Yes, I know that, Mr. Chumley. But I shall not be requiring a thousand mile service. Thank you. Boss? Yeah. Boss, I found a good campsite there, boss. Big water hole. Fine. Drinkable? Hippopotamus there. They seem to like okay. Good. Hippopotamus? I'm not drinking after them. Why not? They'd only be bathing in it. If you had ever been in for a bathe, you'd know why not. You're too fussy, Professor. Go on, you go ahead. I'll bring the women. Very well. <laughs> right in it. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Boozy, but her ladyship was wondering if she could have a shower as usual. Yes, yeah, certainly. Upsy Daisy, make shower tent to make water over white lady. Boss? Did it? Let me do. Thank you. Tell me, doesn't it bother you being out here in the jungle among a lot of men? Men have never bothered me, Mr. Boozy. You must be joking. Men have never bothered me, Mr. Boozy. You must be joking. Evening, ma'am. Good evening, Mr. Boozy. Enjoying the safari, ma'am? Immensely, though I must say I am a bit disappointed we've not seen any monkeys so far. Oh, you won't. They're very busy. It's the mating season. I see. Would they come if I threw them some peanuts, do you think? Would you? <laughs> that is a very big one you have there, is it not, Mr. Boozy? Eh? Oh, this. Yes, well, uh, I'm going hunting, you see. I'll see if I can bag something for supper. I see. Game? Any time. If you are. Well, uh, I really must go. <laughs> yeah, well, they're all ready for you. If, um, you'll excuse me? Certainly, ma'am. But him in the wrong place. Where's he? Where's he gone? He's gone into cover, boss. There he is! Give me that. No, you have to it. Milady, your shower is ready. Thank you, June. 
I shall require you to pour as usual. Yes, my lady. Well, I do hope that elephant doesn't stain, that's all. Oh, dear, 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 dear. I'm beginning to wish we hadn't started on this trip. Every step one takes is fraught. And what is more, we haven't spotted one rare bird yet. It's not good enough, Jumley. We must keep a sharper lookout. Oh, don't worry, Professor. I'm doing that all right, sir. Cool. <laughs> Jumley, what are you looking at? Oh, uh, uh, nothing, Professor. Nothing at all, sir. Well, you must be looking at something. Your rear was positively a gog. Oh, uh, oh, well, I, um, uh, d d d d just thought, sir, that I'd spotted the golden-crested tits, sir. Oh, impossible! You don't find golden-crested tits here in Africa? An occasional black one? Maybe. Oh, of course. You're quite right, sir. Uh, I was mistaken, sir. Yes, well, let me have a look. Where is it? No, I shouldn't bother if I will, sir. Where? I can't see anything. Oh, well, yes, that is definitely something. Really, sir? What? Yeah, oh, well, I can't put a name to it, actually. It was just a quick flash of tail. Really? Let me have a look. No, no, what? Uh, it's gone now. It's gone into the jungle. I'll tell you what. Look, you take these binoculars and go and look for it. Oh, no, I don't think I should go outside just now, sir. Uh? Lady Bagley will be here. Uh... Taking her shower. Will she? Oh, well, I hadn't realized that. Oh, dear. Well, we can't embarrass her, can we? A poor soul. I uh, could, of course, keep my eyes averted. Huh? Spoken like a true gentleman, Chumley. Go and avert. <laughs> go on, off you go. Now, round the back of the tent and don't let us see you now. Muscular elixir. Easy stiffness. Just the thing. Oh, copy up. Oh, copy up. All right. Catch him up and break out a can of corned beef. In course. June, hurry up with the water, please. You shouldn't be carrying heavy things like that. Oh, but her ladyship wants it. Don't worry, she's going to get it. Oh. You're going to have a rest. Go on. Oh. It's a good girl. June, are you there? Yes, my lady. Well, rinse me off, will you please? Thank you. Now bring the towel and rub me down, will you? Oh. Mm. June! June! Oh, June, where are you? It's funny. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Big white hunter. Big white tin opener. <laughs> Thank you, June. I shall not require you anymore. You may take the evening off. Good evening, Mr. Boozy. Good evening, ma'am. 
just checking supplies. I haven't had an opportunity yet of thanking you for scaring off that horrible gorilla. Oh, that was nothing. As a matter of fact, you're all right as long as the gorilla keeps chasing you. When he stops and does that, then you've got to worry. What does that mean? Well, when you go over to find out what he's doing that for, he grabs hold of you, see, like that. Oh. They like to crush people to death. Then they like to get a good grip on anything handy and give a good squeeze. Oh, I see. <laughs> and, uh... Then what do they well, do? Well, then they nuzzle into the neck, see? Mm. And start nibbling. Oh, well, why do they do that? You keep your mind of what their hands are doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good evening, Professor. Uh, Mr. Boozy was just showing me what happens when a gorilla gets a crush on one. <laughs> yes, I could see he was up to some monkey business. <laughs> Very good, that. Yeah, well, Grub will be up in a minute. I better go and have a wash. If you'll excuse me, ma'am. Of course. <laughs> Oh, man, look at them rings. Are they whoppers? I have a matching pair as well. And don't think I hadn't noticed that. Oh, he's so vulgar, so vulgar. As a matter of fact, I find his bluntness rather refreshing. My dear Lady Badley, we must face up to it. The man is simply not a gentleman. I understand he sleeps in his vest. Oh, but sleeping in just a vest displays a sense of individuality, surely. It displays a great deal more than that. What on earth do you mean, Professor? I mean that a man like that would stoop at nothing, would go to any lengths to achieve his ends. Do you really think so, Professor? I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it, my dear Lady Bagley. You are too trusting. I mean, out here in the wilds as we are, and coming into close contact with each other day after day, it only needs a glimpse of creamy skin, a, a hint of milky thigh. <laughs> Why, Professor, you make me sound like a dairy product. Well, yes, you do remind me of something in an English meadow. What? A babbling brook. Sparkling, inviting, and so beautifully cool. Well, I'm very cool now. <laughs> Night draws on, you know. Oh, how sensible of you to bring a pair. <laughs> Dinner is served. Allow me, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Chumley. <laughs> well, <coughs> Mr. Boozy, you may have dinner served. Up, you daisy. Bung on the grub. Oh, common as muck. Along. <coughs> Tell me, Mr. Boozy, what have you uh, bagged for us tonight? This, this is what we call fricassee of fully grown African lion. Is it? Delightful. Isn't that rather dangerous, shooting lions, Mr. Boozy? Oh, not half. Now, you take this one here. When I come across him, he was having a bit of fun with a lioness. And if there's one thing that drives a lion stark raving mad, it's being disturbed when he's with a lioness. Oh, do they charge? Oh, no. I do it for love. Uh, what is your sport, Professor? I don't think I've seen you shooting. Uh, no, no. I get my pleasure in other ways. Oh, really? Then? Professor Tinkle is an ornithologist. Actually, I'm fascinated by rare and exotic birds. Aren't we all? Yes. My last expedition was to the Virgin Isles. It was there that we discovered the rare species of the frigate bird. The what bird? Frigate. Frigate! Now, now. Language. Look, now, you listen here. What is that? Probably a frigate hyena. Let's have a bit of fun with him. shake him. <laughs> Lady Bagley, now you know why we are here. Uh, won't you tell us what brings a beautiful lady like yourself here to Africa? Well, before I tell you, I would like to show you something that I have in here. Oh, no, no, don't bother. I always say, when you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> I promise you, Professor, 
You've never seen one like this before. That is a picture of my little baby boy. Lying there on the rug, playing with his wee engine. I must tell you that soon after little Cecil was born, my husband brought us out here on our honeymoon. Uh, it was a delayed honeymoon, of course. Well, of course. A lady like yourself would never make the mistake of putting the cart uh, before the horse. Or the club before the pudding. Will you spare us the clinical details? Thank you. Uh, pray continue, my dear. One morning, out here in the wilds of the interior, my husband took our baby for his usual walkies. And they never came back. Oh, how ghastly, ma'am. Soon afterwards, while searching along the banks of the Limpopo River, our bearers shot a crocodile. And there, in its stomach, was my dear husband's fob watch. How very terrible. And the baby? On the bank, close by, was his nappy. Clean? I'm afraid not. And so near to the Limpopo, too. But surely, ma'am, after all this time, there's no hope. Oh, no, but you see, we never did find his nappy pin, and it would be something to remember him by. <laughs> I never get tired of listening to the strange noises. <coughs> Must you do that always? Do what? Emit air in that disgusting fashion. Well, what else am I supposed to do with it? Better than sneaking it out in other ways, isn't it? Mr. Chumley, please don't worry on my account. Let us just sit quietly and enjoy the night. <laughs> something wrong, my dear? No. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's quite all right. <laughs> uh, a little more? I don't mind. Uh, of course. Lovely, isn't it? I can't say I'm enjoying it, Mr. Chumley. What? But you just said. Oh, you know perfectly well. Oh. Oh, no, what's up with that? Well, I don't know. But whatever it is, it's certainly rubbing her up the wrong way. Here. 
Akona hamba. Fagalo, akona bujuru. Akona hamba lapa. Kaka. Ah, dear Lady Barclay. Did you see the giraffes just now? Yes, I did. Quaint things. I wonder why it is they have such long necks. Oh, well, it's quite simple. It's because their heads are so far away from their bodies. Do you know I would never have thought of that? <laughs> You're so very knowledgeable, Professor. Oh, it's observation, really. Hmm. I wonder if perhaps you could help me. Do you know anything about the habits of snakes? Uh, habits? Yes, I mean, what do they do? Well, uh, uh, strangely enough, I've often wondered that myself. <laughs> because they're exactly the same all the way down, aren't they? I mean, they don't seem to have the wherewithals. The wherewithals to what? Well, I mean, they, they do if, uh, I mean, uh, they're lacking, uh... Did you see the giraffes just now? Uh, yes, I did. Ah. But what I wanted to know was, if one came in close contact with a snake, could it harm one? Oh, that would depend on the snake. You see, there is a brown one, the African viper, which is uh, very deadly. Oh, no, no, this one was definitely green. Ah. And it sort of moved like that. Ah, that would be the windscreen viper, quite harmless. What's that? Quiet, everyone. Do no better. What up, Sir Daisy? What do those drums say? They say, boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. I know that. What does it mean? How should I know, boss? Fat lot of use you are. Come on, let's get moving. OK, boss. Hambalapa. Kaka! Hambalapa! What's the matter with them? I go to sea, boss. I wish he would go to sea. He's no flipping use on land. In in daba. Ina fina, I kona lamba wamba. No fama lamba wamba. No me kiwe buana, yena wana blela chena wena. Well, they don't want to go on, boss. I say that we must go on. They say no, I say yes. So now it is settled. Good land. Yes, boss. We go on, they stay. How can we go on without them? Who's going to carry all the supplies? Well, they're very frightened, boss. They say, those are the drums of a very bad tribe, the Noshers. The Noshers? Very bad tribe, boss. Very savage. They eat people very backward. Well, they're not eating me backwards. Of course not. What a load of rubbish. What makes them think they eat people? Well, they say that the first drum says, lay the table, dinner on the way. And the second drum says, yummy, yummy. Well, perhaps it would be better if we don't go. Yes, sir. After all, this does seem a good place to set up camp. Not on your nelly. I am not being scared off by a lot of silly, superstitious native talk. They don't call me Rattlesnake Bill for nothing. Now, you listen to me, you bunch of lily-livered jackals. We are not staying here. Put up the tents. Double quick. Pakasonki kaya pozuru. Kaka, kaka, kaka. Drums have stopped. I know that. They stopped hours ago. Oh. Why don't you tell me something I don't know? The women of the Ubangi tribe, boss, stuffed the bones of the buffalo up their nose. What are you talking about? You asked me to tell you something you don't know, boss. Oh, blimey. Go and get the beaters. Go on. We're going on. Take your note. Mr. Brucey? Yes, miss. What is it? The drums have stopped. Get away. I wondered if it would be safe for me to go for a walk. I mean... Would anything happen? Darling, you could walk stalkers through a foreign legion outpost and nothing would happen. Oh, thank you. Boss, 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 I've got the beater, boss. Oh, God, blimey. It's like trying to have a bit on an ant's nest. All right, come on. Let's get going. All clear for us to do some bird spotting, if you like, sir. Oh, no, no. You go, Chumley. Um, I have some paperwork to do. All right, sir.
Aren't you lovely? It's all right. You're safe. Who are you? Where do you come from? <coughs> Don't you understand? Don't you speak English? <coughs> or perhaps you've lived all your life in the jungle. Haven't you ever seen a woman before? <sighs> Obviously not. Uh, uh, tell me, um, what is your name? Name. Look, me, June. June. Understand? Ah, June. June. No! Not those. This June. Understand? June. Oh, that's right. Now then, what is your name? Oh, mm. Ugh. Oh, that's an unusual name. <laughs> that called a chest. A chest. Chest. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. It's all right. It's nothing to be afraid of. No, no, no. I know yours isn't like that, but, but, but you're different from me, you see. I'm a woman. Woman. That's right. Woman. No, 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 no. Me, woman. Oh. Look, I'll show you. See? Woman like that. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's a man a woman doesn't have a. I mean, a. Oh, dear, this is going to be very difficult. Woman. Oh, that's it. Just. That's right. Man. No. Oh, dear. Perhaps we better start with something simpler. Water. 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 Good. Now, swim. Water. Swim. Water. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I didn't mean I wanted to swim. I, I, oh, well, I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps it would be nice. Well, we just have to wait for a moment. I'll get some of these clothes off. Is it?
kiss. Kiss. No! We're supposed to do it together. Like this. Kiss, kiss, woman. No, 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 I can't now. I tell you what, come here tonight, after dark. Oh, oh dear. Here, look, look. Here, night time. Understand? Ah! You don't have to tell everybody. Here, night time. Mr. Boozy, that bang. Here, night time, bang. Oh, yes, 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 but for goodness sakes, go. Oh. My clothes, where are understand is why is it always the same fella that keeps getting in the way? He's very stupid, boss. He got no gun sense. He ran right across in front of you. Yeah, well, try and patch him up and break out another can of corned beef. Boss. What on earth's happened to that poor fellow? Terrible thing, terrible. He was out beating up front, come across this mad elephant, you see. Mad elephant? Yeah, nothing more dangerous than a mad elephant. Are you sure it was a mad elephant? He's been shot. Yeah, well, have you ever seen a sane elephant using a gun? Professor! Professor! Look! Look what I found! Oh, I can't believe it. Is it? It can't be. It isn't. It is. It is! It is! It is what, for Pete's sake? This is the tail feather from the famous Oozalem bird. You gone potty? It's extinct. Ah, you've heard that story too, have you? I never did believe that story. I mean, it's based on a physical impossibility. <laughs> no, never. Of course, the tail feather could have dropped off just before it disappeared up its... Uh, but still, all the same. <laughs> Whatever's the matter? You look so wan. Oh, I, I, I've just had the most, the most terrible experience. There was, there was this savage with a spear, and he, he, he bullied me. Where? In the bottom. Now, 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 where was this savage? I'm trying to tell you. In the bottom of, of a little ravine. Oh, the filthy swine. Oh, that sort of conduct makes me so mad. If only I had a gun. There we are. Oh, yeah. yes, thank you so much. It was... Oh, what a... Oh. Now, that's better. <laughs> now what? It's dead, boss. Oh, dear. I do hope it's nothing serious. Wait a minute. What's this? Finder, please return. Property of Nosha tribe. Come back! Come back, you scum! Oh, well, that's it. Won't see them again. What? Do you mean that we're left alone out here? Yep. By morning, they'll be halfway out. Oh, please help us, someone! Please help! Man, woman, water. Tent, night, kiss, bang.
dirty boy. Well, where do you expect me to go? You should have made sure the toilets were put up. That is no excuse. I told you one of the first laws of the jungle is no whittling in the camp area. But you can't expect me to go into the jungle. What if the noshers see me? They'll get a nasty shock, won't I? You... Oh. <laughs> Evening, ma'am. Going somewhere? Yes, I'm afraid I have to, Mr. Boozy. Oh, pity. Well, don't go too far, because if there's any noshes about, they'll find you a sitting target, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, well, I'll stay within calling distance, of course. Yes, do that. I'll be here. And if you call me, don't think I won't come running. Because I won't. Oh, fly me another one. Excuse me, miss. Looking for something? Uh, no. Uh, I was just going back to the pool, Mr. Boozy. I, I think I remember now where I left my clothes. Oh, good. I'll come with you. Oh, no. No, I, I'm sure that won't be necessary. Thank you, Mr. Boozy. Oh, I think I'd better. It's not safe for a pretty young girl like you to be walking about alone. Hold on, hold on. I'm going scouting. You keep watch. Look at Dicky. Sure, boss. Dicky Nookie. I'm terribly sorry. I thought... No. Why should I lie? I'm not sorry. I adore you. I've been longing to take you in my arms like this. Mr. Chumley, kindly remove your person from my person. Oh, I can't. Oh, your ladyship. Evelyn, this is Africa, a land of unbridled passions. Let's get our bridles off. Mr. Chumley, I am quite aware of our geographical position, not to mention our physical one. But I must point out to you that there is a time and a place for everything, even unharnessing. What? Ah. Oh. You're right, of course. Not here, eh? Later, I'll come to you. Oh, give us a kiss to be going on with girls. Ah! Oh, oh, never mind all. What are you doing, eh? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, professor, no, I... No, just... don't tell me. I'm flabbergasted. My ghast has never been so flabbered. But I can explain, sir, really. No, no, I don't need your explanation. <laughs> I know what's been going on. You don't spend a lifetime studying the habits of birds without learning something, you know. Enough. Back to your tent at once, you libertine. Libertine? Yes, libertine. But, sir, Evelyn. Who? I, no, I mean her ladyship. Oh, her, yes. Oh, don't worry, I'll escort her back to the camp. Very good, sir. I must apologize for the outrageous conduct of my assistant. You see, he will not take his tablets. Why, Professor, I do believe you're the tiniest bit jealous. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Well, well, I mean... Well, you see, after all, I am his chief. And if there are any perks going... I mean, if there's any spare knocking about, I don't know. I think I know uh, what you mean, Inigo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Take me now. Yeah. Pardon? Back to the camp. Oh, yes. Of course, yes. Allow me. Don't worry, darling. If there's anything there, I'll find it. Very tasty as you are. Uh, well, I think I'll stay for a while, uh, just in case. You go back, please, Mr. Boozy. <laughs> Not on your nelly. Come on, I'll see you back to camp. Oh, all right. Come on. 
I'm sure you'll be all right now. I hope so, Professor. Though I must say I tremble at the thought of sleeping alone in Mum's tent. <laughs> oh, I know how you feel. I don't fancy it myself. One would feel so much safer with a strong, fearless man beside one. Oh, I agree. But where could we find one out here? Professor, I don't suppose you would consider... That is, I mean, would you? Yes. No, no, it's unthinkable. <laughs> uh, um, Lady Bagley, I wonder if you would think I was presuming if I... Uh, um, could you see your way clear to letting me... Uh, yes? Uh, uh, oh, no, no, it's unprintable. Well, of course, in the ordinary way, it would be quite wrong. But, of course, these are rather exceptional circumstances, are they not? Oh, they are, they are. I mean, there is my reputation to think of. You would need to be very circumspect. Oh, I was, when I was a baby. I mean, people might not think that you were in my tent purely to protect me, might they? Oh, definitely they might not. They might jump to the wrong conclusions, might they not? Oh, they might, they might. But, of course, we could wait until they were all asleep, could one not? Oh, one could, one could. Professor, how clever of you to think of that. Oh, it was nothing like that. <laughs> Till oh, later, then, in you go. Oh, <laughs> Well, here we are, all safe and sound. Thank you, Mr. Boozy. And good night. You sure you won't be nervous sleeping in a tent all by yourself? Oh, no. Well, if you should be, you're quite welcome to come to mine. Oh, thank you, Mr. Boozy. But I don't think anything's going to happen to me. Pity. I've got a fair set of trophies I'd like to show you. Uh, good night. This just isn't my safari. Good. All right. It's all right. It's all right. It's me. Anything to report? No, boss. Well, I'm turning in. Just keep your eyes open. Look at Dickie. Dickie, look at boss. You weren't coming. Shh! Don't make a noise if they hear you. Come over here and sit down beside me. That's it. Now then, I'll teach you some more words. Now, this thing I'm lying on is called a bed. Ark! Give me your hand. Let me hold your hand. There, that's better. Now then. Aren't you hairy? <laughs> oh. oh, all right, then you can cuddle me if you like. But... Oh, what long arms you've got. <laughs> much time, do you? <laughs> now, you mustn't rush me, Professor, you know. I'm not... <laughs> Professor, you haven't got anything on. Water, swim, man, woman, bang! What? what are you talking about? Just, just a moment. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> I don't think we've been introduced. Oh? No, don't go, don't go. I'm not going to hurt you. Now, tell me about yourself. 
Do you come here often? Fuck! Oh, now that's enough! You can't behave yourself better than that. I'm turning the light off. Not that I'm approved, but... Hello. Change your mind, ever? Don't faint now. Wait till after. Oh, blimey. Don't you talk any English at all? Woman, kiss. I must say you're very persistent. All right, then, if you promise to be a very good boy. Um. No, don't go! Poor boy, he'll catch his death. But it pours. Yes, it pours, yeah. Why don't I always have that effect on him? he up to? Evelyn? Evelyn? It's Inigo. Evelyn! You're not asleep, are you? Oh, you're only pretending, aren't you? Naughty. I heard you moving about just now. This is not just the beast in me, you know, Evelyn. Oh, Evelyn. Oh, I, I know we're all animals under the skin. Oh, yes, even you. Very well. She is not the only pebble on the beach. Miss June? Miss June, it's me. Claude Chumley. I want to speak with you. June. It's all right. Look, I'm not going to harm you. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Bullseye. Oh, Evelyn. What bliss. What? That exotic perfume. And the feel of your soft, hairy skin. Hairy skin? But, but stay there. Don't move. Excuse me. I'll take watch. You get some sleep. Thanks, Bob. Oh, what a night. Oh, oh, in the head. That's not your head, boss. That's the nosher drums. You're right. 
You have a quick scout round, I'll get the others packed up. Looky dicky. Dicky nooky, boss. What is it? What is happening? We gotta get out of here. But Leave the tents and stores, we'll trouble with bare essentials. What? I'm not bearing my essentials. Heaven forbid. You don't mean we're going back? Well, of course we're going back. Can't you hear those drums? But I can't go back. What about my little baby boy? Little baby boy? You mean that walloping great thing in frilly knickers? Those weren't his, they were mine. I tore his off when he was in my tent. Well, there's a nice maternal action, I must say. Never mind whose knickers they were. We've got to get going. No, I am not going back without him. Yes, and what about our oozen bird? Quite right. Oh, blimey, you've only got a tail feather. The thing's probably dead. That doesn't matter. We can still stuff it. A pretty good idea. Now, you listen here. They've stopped. Boss! Boss! There are many noshers coming. How many? Oh, as many as teeth in the mouth of a crocodile. Well, how many is that? Dunno. Nobody ever stopped long enough to count them. Oh, blimey, there's no point in running now. We've had it. But we've got guns. Can't we fight them off? What, that many? Wait a minute. Get some shovels. Yes, boss. Shovels? What for? Dig a pit. A pit? That's it. We dig a dirty great deep hole, cover it with brushwood. When they rush us, they fall in. It's an old trick, but it never fails. The bushes. All right, dish them out. Come on, let's get digging. Follow me. Me. Yeah, what? How do we get out of this? Hmm? Yeah, well, like I said, it never fails. <laughs> Please yourselves. What's that big pot? Probably flatulence. No, that stewing pot. Oh. What are they going to cook? That's your fool. We're going in that pot. Us? Stewed? Oh, not a chance. Don't go sober. This is preposterous. They can't possibly do this to us. After all, we are British subjects. They got no taste, these people. They'll eat anything. But, but surely they wouldn't eat me. You especially. Wait until they see that bit of best rump. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Can't you do something to stop them? Yes, hang on, I'll see what I can do. Here, you, before you start carving, I think you ought to know. Im, great white magic man. Im, doer of marvellous thing. You hurt us. Him bring heap great misfortune down on you. Yes, I let you see marvellous doings of this man. Quick, show him your doings. I beg your pardon? Show him your doings. I will not. You show him yours. He wants to see a bit of magic. Well, you should have said you see magic. Who? Oh. Show me magic doing. It's magic doings. Oh, dear. He's insistent, isn't he? Well, now, have you... No, you are... Ah, now, wait a minute. This, uh... uh was, uh... Oh, look! Twelve o'clock. That's it. You've got him going. Yeah, I 
I'll tell you what. You let us go, you can have it. You go. That's it. Let's get out of here before he changes his mind. Uh, one moment, please. <clears throat> I tinkle of the miraculous doings. I'm well pleased with you. I now call upon the great sky gods to send down a sign upon you to show their appreciation. <laughs> want to drop in like that for? Don't talk about my baby like that. He was only trying to help us. Oh, he helped us, all right. Right under the menu. Anyway, it did enable June to escape. Yes, and upsy Daisy. Perhaps he's gone for help. Fat chance. By the time he can get back, we'll all be eaten and forgotten. Oh, the indignity of it all. I, Professor Tinkle, ornithologist, thrust like a chicken. Just keep hoping they don't like stuffy. Do they just... Drop us into boiling water. Oh, no. Nothing as barbaric as that. They just drain all the blood out of us first. That's all we need. Kosher noshes. Tum! 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 There he is. The head chef. It is the language of our king. It is his wish we speak it. Oh, how nice. And, uh, and who is this king? Tonka the Great. Ah, oh, how very interesting. Uh, perhaps you'll show us this great Tonka of yours. He is not here. He is too weak to travel far. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, where does this great Tonka of yours hang out then? In our valley beyond the mountains. It is called Aphrodisia. Aphrodisia? Ah, then you must be Aphrodisiacs. No. We are known as the Lubby Dubbies. I'll second that. Uh, Aphrodisia. Lubby Dubbies. No, I can't say I've heard of you. No more questions. You must save all your strength for the work that lies ahead. All work? What work? In our country, there is only one useful occupation for men. What's that? Why, to mate. Mate? What else? Oh, mate. <laughs> Oh, 
has not tired you too much. Oh, no, no, I'm very enough, very well, thank you. Well, I should think so, too. I think it's absolutely disgraceful us lugging them about. It is meat and proper. Well, not for me, it isn't. Where I come from, the men carry the women about. That is why you are so soft and flabby. <laughs> no matter. You will become strong after you have done some work. Work? Doing what, may I ask? Woman's work, farming, hunting, looking after the men, having children. What a prospect. Forward with labor. Excuse me, Miss, uh, Madam. Uh, no, no, uh, please do not get up. Oh. Can I help you? Yes, as a matter of fact, you can. Tell me, this uh, work that you're talking about for us, this, um... Mating, yeah, yes. This mating, yes. Exactly what does it entail? I don't understand. Have you not mated before? Certainly not. Do not people do it in your country? Well, I gather that there is a bit of it going on among certain classes. But do not worry. You will be shown what to do. I know what to do. But I'm rather particular. I can't do that sort of thing with every Tom, Dick and Harry. But you do not need to worry. There are no men in Aphrodisia. Only women. No men? For some reason, for the last hundred years, we have borne nothing but girl children. The last man died ten years ago. I can guess what of. <laughs> um, wait a minute. Now, this great Tonka of yours, now, tell me, if he's not a man, he should be a queen. He is a man. And when he first came to our valley, we hoped the curse would be broken. He has tried very hard, but that is why we bless your coming. Excuse me. Uh, how many women have you got down there? Of mateable age, about a hundred. Don't want to waste time hanging about here, do we? Let's get working. Forward. It's the wife. You, you mean you've been here all these years with all these women? I can't understand what you're so upset about. You can't understand? Don't you realize what a terrible shock and, and disappointment this has been for me? Disappointment? Yes. Well, all these years I believed you'd been eaten by a crocodile. Oh, dear me, no. Your watch was found in a crocodile's stomach. Oh, no. It can't have been my watch. I distinctly remember. My watch was eaten by a nosher. Well, how did it get into a crocodile's stomach? I wouldn't like to think. Unless it ate the nosher, too. Uh, I think I'm going mad. Oh, my dear. Sure you didn't come all this way to tell me that. No, Walter, look, yes. will you please explain? Yes, dear. What have the noshers got to do with it? Well, you see, I was captured by them. Captured by them? Yes. You remember that morning that Baby and I set out for our usual walkies? Well, I was jogging along quite happily. Isn't he a lucky little babesy wavesy den? To go huncy wancy with big brave daddy waddy den. Yes, he is den. Eh, uh, what's the matter, den? Is babesy wavesy sitting on something uncomfortable, den? Ah, uh, yeah, yes, he is den. <laughs> Poor Mumsy Wumsy must have got to put Babesy Wavesy on the potsy watsy this morning, didn't she, Den? Yes, she did, Den, the lazy cow, Zy Wowsy. <laughs> Dare, Den. Daddy Wadsy will have to give Mumsy Wumsy a smacksy waxy, won't he, Den? Yes, he will, Den. Round the chopsy wopsies. Oh, shh. Don't make a sound. I've just seen a whopper. Oh, you stay there and be a good diddums. And Dadsy Wadsy will bag it. 
Terribly sorry. I didn't know you were there. <gasps> oh, you weren't there. <laughs> Never mind. Keep on trying. And the next time I knew, there was a hundred of them around me. And I was in it up to here. In what? In the stew pot. And Baby? No, just me and a few turnips. I mean, what happened to Baby? Well, I don't really know. You see, these dear ladies here rescued me just as I was coming to the boil, and then they brought me here. But that was over 20 years ago. Haven't you even tried to find the poor little chap? Well, I have been busy. Yes, and I know what doing. King of lovers, eh? Purely an arbitrary title. Master dear. of women. Just a hereditary title. Father dear. of countless. It goes with a job. Well, dear. you can add another one. Really? What's that? Stinker of stinkers. I say. Have I offended you about something? It might interest you to know that while you have been wallowing in sin here, I have seen our baby boy. Really? Only yesterday. Oh, well, I never. I hope you remember to change his nappies. He was in a fight. He's a fully grown man now, you fool. Now he's gone again, and I don't know where he is or, or what he's doing. Weed. Seed. Feed. Lead. Bed. No, no, no. Bead. Bed. Oh, dear. Here we go again. Look, please, will you stop it? Will you stop it? Uh, look, I'm old enough to undress myself. Now get away. Now get away from me. Now get away. Please. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Hello. Are you having a bit of trouble? Yes, I am, Tonka. Well, please, whatever your name is, Tonka. Tell these young women to stop trying to take my clothes off. <laughs> They're your attendants. I'm not having young women like this undressing and dressing me. Besides, I don't suppose they even know where everything goes. You want to bet? What's he beefing for? I enjoyed it. Yes, and it showed. All right, girls. Off you go. Come, come. Overzealous. <laughs> now, you'll have to get your mating robe on because there is a ceremony this evening. Oh, straight to work, eh? There's nothing like a good, honest night's work, is it? <laughs> uh, uh, tell me, please, this uh, mating ceremony, what's it like, eh? Well, it's like a marriage, really, to the mate who's been selected for you. Marriage? You mean we get lumbered with just one woman? That's right. Until tomorrow. Then you get an automatic divorce and marry another one. Another one? That's right. And then the following day, another, and so on and so on. Yes. Well, after two weeks of that, it'll need sewing on. Oh, it's great fun once you get used to it. Ah, uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I don't want you to think that I'm complaining at all, and uh, I've always been a pretty active sort of chap, you know. Uh, and what I'm getting at is I... I don't think I'm active enough to get married every day. Oh, not every day, dear me, no. Oh. Oh, that's all right, then. You get every other Sunday off. Oh, uh, by the way, you won't try to escape, will you? These women can get very nasty. Escape? You must be joking. <laughs> Good luck. I'll see you at the ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> and what is so amusing? I'm just thinking of that idiot jungle boy trying to rescue us from this. He doesn't know what he's missing. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if we'll ever get to seven. <laughs> I've decided there are going to be some changes made around here. Oh, but my dear, I do change them very frequently. Yes, we know all about that. But from now on, father of countless, you are going to be husband of one. Oh. But I thought I ought to take part in just one more ceremony to show the three new chaps just what to do. <laughs> from my experience, they already know. Ah, yes. But it is a very difficult and complicated ritual. Not when I knew you, it wasn't. Now get on with it, but leave yourself out. Tonka, Tonka, stick it up your honker. Mm. <laughs> 
The symbol of perpetuity. <gasps> By gad, sir, it's the Uslan bird. Yes, and a male specimen to boot. Oh, I can clearly see it's Uzel. Quiet, please, and face the mating booths. It is written that man is the fountain of life. Man is the fountain of life. Without him, women are as dried up gardens. Women are as dried up gardens. They can use my sprinkler any time. <laughs> you will be serious, please. Take it. What for? It is the symbol of marriage. I might have guessed. Oh, yes. And what is this? The symbol of fruitfulness. Ask a silly question. Yes. Who on earth thought up this ceremony? I did, as a matter of fact. I might have known. Make your responses after me, please. William Boozy, Inigo Tinkle, and Claude Chumley. Are you ready to assume the duties of a husband? We are, we are ready. ready. And will you perform them to the best of your ability? We will. we will. I now pronounce you ready and willing. Behold, your mates. I'm here. Who chose that lot? Our new queen, Evelyn. They're all yours. Hang on, hang on. No, no, stay there. Oh, pretty, pretty. It's not told to fly. I resign. I resign. Please, I'm on the wrong job. Oh, put me on the doll. Oh, no. Ah, oh, perfidy, perfidy. Oh. It's been a lovely three months out. But I keep worrying about Lady Bagley and, and the others. No good to worry. With those bad men, by now they all be dead as... Two nails. Two nails? Maybe. But just suppose they did escape. After all, she's your mother, you know. Mother, yes. Like you say, she gave birth to me. Birth? She gave birth to me, too? Yes. And I really think we ought to try and find out what's happened to them. All right. If you wish we go look, we go look. That's a good boy. But <laughs> before we go, we just do it one more time. Not again, Ark. Yes, yes, please, Julie. Oh, it's no satisfying you, is there? The more I do it, the more I get better. Get better? Oh, all right, then. Just once more. A poem. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white. No, no, no. Fleece. Oh, sorry. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sore to go. There was butter. Match butter. Good. Oh, dear. Now you've got me doing it. Good. Now we go look for mother who give me birth and bath. <laughs> oh, do we have to go that way, Ark? Not to worry. I show you. You hold to me tight. <sighs> There. Perfect, no? Not today, dear, thank you. Wake, uh, this is important. Oh. Wake her, too. Huh. What's going on? What are you doing? Nice way to treat your queen, I must say. You are no longer our queen. I am taking over. What, with him? No, alone. Since you came, Tonka has become useless to us. Well, he hasn't been exactly a ball of fire to me, either. 
Don't blame me, dear. You've got too good an extinguisher. How dare you? Enough! From now on, you will live and work with the women. Tonka will live and work with the men. Hello. Well, I'm joining you chaps now. You see, I'm no longer king. She is the new leader. That is right. And as your new leader, I must say I'm very dissatisfied with the results of your work so far. Yeah? You want to try giving us better materials to work with? See that it improves. There will be a mating ceremony in one hour. <laughs> but this is our Sunday off. There will be no more Sundays off. No! No! We're not standing for it. You can push us just so far. You threaten me. What can you do? What can we do? What can't we do? We have already discovered what you can't do. Oh, she is a miserable leader. There's only one thing we can do. We can go and strike. Strike? What is the meaning of this? We down tools. You will refuse to work? Definitely. We have ways of making people work. <coughs> like this, for example. Fresh oysters from our lake. Oysters? They're no good. They are known to be highly beneficial. Rubbish. I had a dozen last night, and only five of them worked. We shall see in one hour. No! Oh, I can't go through anymore. I've got to get out of here anyway. Let me out! Let me out! Control yourself. Shamley, Shamley. I can't help it, child. I've come to the end of my tether. Well, you're lucky. I can't even find mine. It's like a factory. An endless belter. All right, all right. Look, there's no sense in running amok. Oh, it is terrible when his muck starts to run. Well, I think he's right. I just couldn't take on any more of those old battle axes they keep giving us. Well, I know how you feel. It's a novelty to begin with, but it soon wears off. <laughs> Can't we make a run? <laughs> Can't we make a crawl for it? Anything would be better than this. And get killed? Except that. Well, there must be some way of getting out of here. Look at that one. If I get her, I've had it. Up she daisy? Yes, boss. See? Well, I mean, that's a twist. <laughs> After I escape, I see these people capture you. So I go back for help. Bring men as soldiers. Good lad. Where are they? Oh. Not far, boss. As the crow flies, just round the corner, up the hill, and under the waterfall. How many soldiers? As many as feet on a centipede. A hundred? No, ten. But don't just stand there. Go and get them. Hang on, wait a minute. We've got to pick the right moment. I know. When they let us out for the mating ceremony. That's it. Get them in position, wait for my signal, they start shooting, and we get away in a gefuffle. Nooka diggy? Dicka nooky. What signal do you give, boss? Elephant call. Oh, I know, boss. Like this. <coughs> Behold the symbol of perpetuity. Face the mating booths. Now, wait a little bit later. Oh, thank goodness, they're alive. Yes, they fine. Don't worry. I think of something. I now pronounce you ready and willing. Get ready. I know. I call my animal friends. Behold your mates. Blimey. Well? Uh, well, uh, come to think of it, perhaps uh, this is not quite the right moment. I agree. You talk me into it. What are we waiting for? That is the signal. That wasn't me! Stop it! No, no! No, no, we don't want to be saved! Oh, isn't it sickening? Well, we'll have to go now, and I'm not leaving without my bird. No, nor am I. They come! I have 
the Uzalama. Never mind about that. Where's Conker? Come on. Oh, no, you don't. My friends, they do good, yes. You stupid great ape, they came to rescue us. Yeah. The man who escaped, off you, great ape! Oh, uh, Wait. Take these back and look after them well. Yes, and the others? Let them go. At last, we have some real men. Real men? Oh, may she be forgiven. We're safe. Safe. And it's all you're doing, my baby. And so, as the sun sank slowly into the chest, we bade a fond farewell to Aphrodisia and its over-hospitable people. And now we come to the moment that you have all undoubtedly been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ozalum bird. It's gone! Oh, where has it disappeared to? <laughs> 